Hello guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another episode review of Hollyoaks for 9th December 2022. Uh, I really enjoyed this episode. I thought it was so funny. Uh, as you can see in the picture, John Paul. Supposed to be in some sort of disguise with a cap. I've never seen John Paul wear a cap in Hollyoaks before. Um, probably the first time I've seen him wearing one. And I just thought it's just ridiculously funny. And the way he's acting very shady on the phone with Goldie. Uh, he's trying to break into the D Valley Law Office, uh, trying to find any evidence uh, on Bobby. I think it, they were after the book or something. Maybe the book was used to kill uh, Verity. Um, absolutely hilarious uh, when he was um, going inside the office, scrummaging the things. And at that precise time, I believe James walked in and... Yeah, I just I just found it so funny. Um and it's like John Paul got caught red handed. I really like the character John Paul, honestly, and James as well. Just, just the comedy and the um the scenes between them, just hilarious. And I think luckily John Paul got away with it. Basically said that um oh, you know, I don't know what he said actually. Um he made some sort of fib and James kind of bought it and let him off and I think they got into a different conversation. But absolutely hilarious it's just funny how goldie's managing to um like give these kind of tasks to john paul and he's willing to do it even though he's kind of against like um you know running around um doing kind of like dirty work to find some something against bobby because obviously he kind of he still sees bobby as a kid mercedes kid his nephew um that's john paul he sees the best in everyone so he's kind of been forced into it i guess by goldie who's more um how shall i say it more enthusiastic in trying to um prove bobby's the murderer who kills uh silver and also verity as well so she's she's definitely um on bobby's case and i, I just feel like she's playing fire with fire because bobby's someone even as a child, not to be messed with, as proven. So I do think Goldie might be running into some problems with little Bobby. Uh, unfortunately, Mercedes can't see her son for it. I'm going to park this there and talk about the Maxine, um, who kind of made amends publicly with uh, Ethan. And it's, it's obviously quite bit of an act because i think she's playing the long game she's trying to get him done for it um for his crimes basically and i don't know whether he's buying maxine's apology or not diane's obviously got her very um sense guard up uh senses up as well um just she, I, I i just believe i just think she doesn't fully trust ethan to be honest and tony does because this is his brother and he just sees the good in everyone <laughs> We did see Mason going to Ethan at the to his little caravan and ask him for you know to join the group again. Don't know. I think they've shown a, a new term which I haven't heard before: black pill ideology. Um, they've shown that Eric's is it Eric or Ethan, sorry, um, Eric's moved into that, which is quite quite scary to be honest. Um, I just hope he's gonna get caught quite easily. So, but we'll see. Uh, gonna leave it at that review. Oh yeah, uh, let's talk about Vicky and Demarcus. Uh, Demarcus obviously um, trying to be more helpful towards Vicky, trying to get her to open up about her mum, trying to make her visit her mum as well. So it's quite interesting. Um, but we're gonna leave it at that. I'll see you in the next episode review. Peace.